love poetry. This is easily my favorite one. It is by a Somali uh, lady who lives in England named Warson Shire. And the poem is titled, For Women Who Are Difficult to Love. You are a horse running alone. He tries to tame you, compares you to an impossible highway, to a burning house, says you are blinding him, that he could never leave you, forget you, want anything but you. You dizzy him. You are unbearable. Every woman before you or after you is doused in your name. You fill his mouth. His teeth ache with the memory of taste. His body just a long shadow seeking yours. But you are always too intense, frightening in the way you want him. Unashamed and sacrificially, he tells you, no man can live up to the one who lives in your head. And you tried to change him didn't you? Closed your mouth more, tried to be softer, prettier, less volatile, less awake. But even when sleeping, you could feel him traveling away from you in his dreams. So what did you want to do, love? Split his head open? You can't make homes out of human beings. Someone should already have told you that. And if he wants to leave, then let him leave. You are terrifying and strange and beautiful. And that's something that not everyone knows how to love. The second poem is one by Edna St. Vincent Millay called The Witch's Wife. She is neither pink nor pale, and she will never be all mine. She learned her hands in a fairy tale and her mouth on a valentine. She has more hair than she needs in the sun, tis a woe to me. And her voice is like a string of colored beads or steps leading into the sea. She loves me all that she can and her ways to my ways resign, but she was not made for any man, and she never will be all mine. The next one is by Pablo Neruda, translated by Mike Eisner. I don't love you as if you were a rose of salt, topaz, or arrow of carnations that propagate fire. I love you as one loves certain obscure things, secretly between the shadow and the soul. I love you as a plant that doesn't bloom but carries the light of those flowers hidden within itself. And thanks to your love, the tight aroma that arose from the earth lives dimly in my body. I love you without knowing how, or when, or from where. I love you directly, without problems or pride. I love you like this because I don't know any other way to love except in this form, in which I am not, nor are you, so close that your hand upon your chest is mine, so close that your eyes close with my dreams. 